I'm going to show you how to make name cards for your Thanksgiving table this year. Now you can use these anytime, but I'm going to go to Canva and make a template to give to you for free. So you can go in and change the names on the cards. But here's one that I made. Um, see if you can get that right there. And I'm going to show you how to do that. You can take this template and you can change it. I made a, put a little pumpkin in the corner. I used a different a font that I liked, but you can take that template and change it into whatever you want. The nice thing about this is it's already sized for little cards for your place setting about this side. And it's, and I made a fall a little pumpkin scene so that it can be used throughout the whole season, but you could change the pumpkin out and turn it into something for Christmas or birthdays, whatever you want. You can also change the font. So let's get over to Canva, let's get started. When you go into Canva, just go up here to where it says create a design. And what I did for size is I just put in a gift tag because earlier I made some gift tags and they were actually just a little bit bigger than I wanted. But I did notice that they're the perfect size to make name cards for your place settings. So go ahead and select that, and that's just going to give you the size that you need. What I did is I like to frame the square because what we're going to do once we design it, we're going to take it over to Word, and then we're going to print from there, and it lets you see where you can cut and have the exact right size. You can leave the frame in there or take it out, but go under Frame Outline, and then you're going to drag it over and frame your square that you have. Once you frame that area, um, make sure you duplicate it because you're going to need a blank one, and you're going to need the the name because think about it you're making a card right and you're going to need to fold it down so you're going to have to have two of the same size and you only need one blank now i wanted a pumpkin in the corner something for fall because i like to watercolor it uh, in everything's going to be outlined so that i can color them so you can use markers you can use watercolors you can use colored pencils you can get fancy when you take my template and put in pictures that are not outlined and you can order them. I'm not going to show you how to order them today because I want to show you how you can do this yourself and kids can get involved and help you. It can become a family affair, a little project, or you can do it um, just to make some special cards on the Thanksgiving table. And it's almost free, right? Most of these supplies you probably already have at home. Now, what I did under elements is I, I, I typed in pumpkin outline right here because I wanted to color it in like I said and I found this pumpkin here this is the one that I ended up using um, I did go through some a thought process and I'll show you that in a moment but this little guy this pumpkin I wanted it in the corner but if you look at it it kind of seems like it needs to be flipped this is my absolute favorite feature of Canva and we get to flip it right and I'm going to flip it horizontally and just see how that kind of fits into the corner a little bit nicer this is another pumpkin that I had found before that one. And what I really wanted was the little tendrils to come off the pumpkin and the leaves on it because I grew pumpkins this fall and I just love those little tendrils. This didn't quite give me the effect I wanted. So I had to literally go into elements and I had to look for the leaves and I had to look for vines or tendrils. So that's what I Googled or not Googled. That's what I put in the elements um, for the search um, tendrils and leaf, pumpkin leaves. Okay. I'm not going to go through that. I mean, you can type that in, but let me show you what I ended up with after I did all that searching. This is what I ended up with. These are actually all different pieces. I'm showing you this over here, what I had originally. This is the pumpkin that I liked better. And I went in and put vines in. See that? I put two different vines and then these leaves, I found them and I put four of them in and I actually shrunk them down so that they would fit on here. And I really like that. I think that came out a lot nicer than this one. It looks a little bit fancier in my opinion. So that's what I'm going to keep in the corner of my template for my name tag. And this here gives you an idea of what that looks like. See how it fits right in the corner. Now what you need to do is put people's names on there. Now you can do one of two things. You can just take this and take the template that I give you for free below and it'll load into your account or and just use calligraphy or whatever and put the names in or you can use the font from in here. Now this is the way that I like to get font. I like to go into different templates because these are templates that Canva provides for us 
And you can just type in Thanksgiving, birthday, thank you, anything, because these are all pre-made templates and they have lots of different fonts in here. So I found one, again, I experimented, I kept pulling them over, trying to get the right one. You can go through that process, but let me show you what I came up with. I found this one here, it said, thank you for your purchase. And this is what I want. I want this right here of the template. So all you have to do is uh, control copy and then bring it up to where you want it and I want it on this page here and then I hit control V and then it will pop up and from there you can size it and I would I notice some of the names in my family were shorter some were longer so I kind of made some of them bigger some of them smaller so that they would fit now here's the part that becomes time consuming you have to pick your font you have to then put each person's name in. So we have um, Nicholas, okay, and his name fit in there really nice. I did make them a little bit bigger because I want them to pop. Now, every single one of these, see, I just accidentally moved my frame. Every single one of these then has to be saved. So I went through the process. I made eight of them. Seven people will be here for dinner, and my granddaughter's coming later for dessert, and she's only four, so I made a special one for her where I, I put her name printed because she's just learning her name. She would not even know that's her name if she saw in cursive at this point. So here's the part that gets a little bit redundant, but you have to go over here to share. You're going to download. Now I have obviously a lot of tabs because I was trying to um, show you the process. It has nine tabs. I want to just do tab one. And you may do that as you're trying to create. You may um, what I do a lot of times when I'm creating, if I'm not sure about something, I'll save the page, duplicate it, and then play around because sometimes you go back to your original thought. But I only want page one where it says Nicholas right there. And then I am going to download. So I downloaded every single one. I put their names on it. And then I'll show you what I did next. You're going to go over to Word. We're going to open that up. I went into Word. Now, this took me a while. It wasn't something I just did very quickly. But um, I had to put the blank square at the top and then the name at the bottom. I went through and had it mixed up all the way through. So there's one thing you don't want to do. I feel like I'm teaching my third grade class. I'm always telling the kids, this is a mistake that lots of you make at your age. So don't do this. Um, so this was a mistake. I had the blanks at the bottom. They need to be at the top. And you can see Sophie's name here. Um, what, here's another thing. As soon as you bring it in, you can drag it and drop it from your screen. Once you save it to your desktop, you're going to just drag it over and it's going to go wonky. Like if you don't do this, right click, go down here where it says wrap text and hit tight every single time. And then they will go exactly where you want. And I think, oh, there we go. They will go exactly where you want them, okay? And then what I did is I printed this off, and I'm going to show you what that looks like right here. I got some drawing paper, and I think you can see that. I'll go ahead and make a, a, a picture of it and put it next to me here so you can see it better. Um, but I, I, got, I had two sheets of paper that went through. It is drawing paper. It is a little bit wider than regular printing paper or copy paper. So you're going to have to cut a little bit off the side, maybe about a quarter of an inch or so. So it'll fit through your printer. And it came out really nice. After that, then I, um, I, again, I'll give you a picture. You can see on Sophie's name, I just got some watercolors and I painted it in orange and then I did the leaves green. After that, you just go in and you cut it. You can leave the lines in or you can take the lines out and then fold it and then you have your little name card. And again, I'll take pictures of these so you can see them better. I don't know how well you're seeing it on the video. And that's it. Like I said, you can go in and ask Canva to print them. Let me bring you back to Canva and I'll show you where that's at. But if you go up here to where it says print tags, Canva will go in and print for you. And if you have your entire uh, let's say you're making eight of them. Make sure every single page of the eight that you want. See, this is picking up Nicholas and Sophie. The other pages are not even done. Um, they're just some uh, my working pages. But make sure all your pages have the names. And then you can go over here and tell them which pages you want them to print. Okay. And if, again, you would have eight or nine, whatever it is, continue. See here it says um, $20 or $10 for your tags. So if you don't want to... 
go get drawing paper and do all that work with Word, then just go ahead and have them print it off. Canva, I've used them a couple times for printing and the quality is well worth it. So there you go. So if you don't want the outline, go in and put a picture of a pumpkin or something and, and then you have it. All right. Thank you. Have a happy Thanksgiving. And I know some of you are going to see this after Thanksgiving. I know these videos stay here forever. Um, do it for birthdays or Christmas or Hanukkah, whatever your holidays are, and you can make them anytime. And really, if you keep this template in your Canva account, you can go in and change them out really fast and use them for all the special occasions. And kids love to see their name. Um, it's even an educational thing. If you're teaching your child how to say, uh, spell their name, you can make a little card. Sophie would love to probably have a little mermaid on hers. And actually, I may do that. I may, just thought of it, I may make Sophie a, a four different ones and put a mermaid on it or, or a pumpkin or whatever um, so that she can have different ones that she can color and have them at home. There you go. Again, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Any comments below would be appreciated and have a blessed day.